the 2003 song Intuition by Jewel. I hadn't heard this song in many, many years, but I knew it's very important and, and significant, and I just had a feeling that it's going to be something really, really amazing. And yes, I'm here to break it down, and thank God I'm here. I made it here to this point in my life, and I finally have a purpose in my life, and it's, it's to help wake people up and shine a light in this world, and thank God, thank God, thank God. Let me just tell you, I am, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I was so lost before last year, I was so lost, and, and, oh, you, oh, Anyway, I don't want to turn this into a whole thing like that, but let me just tell you, God is real, and there's a lot of stuff in this world is, that's real that people and media and programming and agendas try to make light of and try to make it like it's not or not a big deal, uh, such as magic, um, which is real. But anyway, let's get into this song here. Okay, I cut down the lyrics a little bit because she says, follow your heart, you in your intuition a lot in it. And I had to cut some down just so I could fit it all here. But I just cut down the parts that repeat, you know, I cut out the parts that repeat in the chorus. So she starts the song with, I'm just a simple girl in a high tech digital world. And all of us now, we all have some kind of device in our hand, in our face, on our wrist. Our house is the device. Our car is the device. Okay? Let me tell you something. There is a reason that all of us have these devices and all of us have access to them. Okay? Or at least most of us. You know, there's a reason. You know, the man behind the curtain doesn't want these devices in our hand simply so we can waste our time on playing bejeweled blitz, okay? It's because the technology that make these devices work is, it's made, they are made with alchemy, okay? And these devices look the way they do because they are scrying mirrors. You can look that up, scrying, S-C-R-Y-I-N-G, mirrors, Black Mirror Technology, okay? <laughs> you think that they don't have all of these devices in our hands, in our faces, because they aren't monitoring and recording us? Do you really think that? And let me tell you something else. An IP blocker, an IP masker, it won't make any difference as far as being able to see you. Uh, some people won't be able to see you if you cover both the cameras on the front of your phone. And yes, you notice I said both the cameras on the front of your phone because on, on many phones out there, there's a hidden camera that, that you may not even know about. That's an infrared camera that takes pictures of you every few seconds. But anyway, um, let's see here. I only got two lines in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a simple girl in a high tech digital world. Really try to understand all the powers that rule this land. That's what I was just talking about. Okay. Whoa. And let me tell you, I, I, I only heard the beginning of this song and was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to talk about this. And I didn't realize that was the next line that I had just discussed. Okay. Uh, they say Mary J's big butt is boss. And, you know, like, look at the significance of butts now. Like, Megan the Stallion, like, her whole, her whole personality is her butt and her tongue. I'm serious. I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not making fun of anybody. Now, I'm someone who knows, or at least in my opinion, uh... Megan the Stallion does not even exist as an actual living human. All right. She's digital. She is the digital Maria from Metropolis, 1927. Okay. Uh, there's many, many, in my opinion, there's many, 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 many digital celebrities and they are utilized 
for pushing agendas and mind control and programming, okay? And cheapening. I'm, again, I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not making fun of anybody, okay? I'm not hating on anybody. They are, they're out there in our face for a reason, okay? And it's cheapening the idea of women and especially women of color, all right, and limiting young girls and women as to what they want to aspire to do with their lives because they think they can be as successful as her doing all of what she does. And yes, if she, you know, if she was a real person, she'd be very, very successful. Yes. And like I said, I'm not shaming anybody. This is about programming and agendas and mind control, which is being implemented. Okay. And it's not just the young girls and women that are being affected by this. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, so they say Miss Miss J's big butt is boss. Kate Moss can't find a job. Let me tell you about Kate Moss too. I, I this is the line that really woke me up and was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I got to talk about this song because in my opinion, Kate Moss never existed at all as an actual living human, and neither did Naomi Campbell and many, many, many other people from the fashion industry and from most of media. I'm serious. That is where I have come on my journey, where I'm at. It started last year when I realized that Leslie Feist from the band Feist, she did that music video in 2007, the iPod Nano commercial. One, two, three, four, tell me that you love me more. Um, I realized that she's not real. And I have posted so much footage of her being AI, CGI, whatever, they, whatever technology they use. You can find it on YouTube and everything, okay? Oh my gosh. I'm more than halfway through on this thing and I, we don't have a lot of time left. Okay, well, all right, here we go. Um... Kate Moss can't find a job. That's because she's not real, y'all. She's not a human. That's why that line is there, in my opinion, okay? In a world of postmodern fad, what was good is now bad. And that's like Disney Descendants, making everything that's good bad and bad good, inverting everything. And that's biblical, too. That's biblical. You can look up the Bible verses. I'm serious. I'm not trying to shove anything anywhere down anybody's anything, okay? But look at the stuff that we willingly accept because someone says it, okay? That, that Who's a celebrity, all right? And uh, let's see. What was good is bad. What, what was good now is bad is not hard to understand. Just follow this simple plan. Follow your heart, your intuition, it will lead you in the right direction. Let go of your mind, your intuition. It's easy to find. Just follow your heart. And that is so important because true love is the most important thing in the universe. And there are forces in this world that do not want true love. All right? They don't want it to succeed. They don't want anyone to have it. They want to bottle it and try to sell it. And that's impossible. True love cannot be bought or sold. It's not for sale. It's something that comes from within you. And if you have that fire within you, if you have that little spark, please keep a, keep a hold of it and, and nurture it. Okay, it's very important. This is the most important thing in the world, okay? It can really change the world. I'm serious. I'm going to run out of time. Uh, you look at me, but you're not quite sure. Am I it? Or could you get more? You learn cool from magazines. You learn love from Charlie Sheen. Again, that's someone who I believe never existed as a real living human. And also Jewel as well. Jewel as well. If you want me, let me know. I promise I won't say no. That's probably because she, it depends on what she's programmed to say at that time. Follow your heart, your intuition. Um, I don't know if what I just said before that made sense about the I won't say no thing. Maybe I misunderstood that. But anyway... Uh, let go of your mind, your intuition. It's easy to find. Just follow your heart. You got something that, you, that you're wanting me to sell. Sell your sin. Just cash in. You got something that you want me to sell. You'll love me. Wait and see. If you want me, don't play games. I promise it won't be in vain. Anyway, true love, true love, true love.
please 